Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. Jay Slater's dad has blasted conspiracy theorists and told them to search on the ground themselves before jumping to conclusions. Warren, 58, vowed today he would not stop scouring the vast Masca ravine in northwest Tenerife for his 19-year-old son. Apprentice bricklayer Jay, 19, vanished more than three weeks ago in the mountainous remote village. Spanish cops combed the area for almost two weeks before abruptly ditching the hunt, leaving Jay's family blindsided. They have vowed to continue the search themselves, however, with the help of a small group of volunteers. Jay's frustrated dad has called on the army for help and said they have had no update from cops. He was seen out combing the unforgiving today with son Zach, 21, today clutching water bottles. Warren's legs were noticeably scratched as he trekked along a bumpy path in shorts. He said, we are not going to stop. We are still out looking. What more can we possibly do? I've said before, I need an army to help me. 5J with his mum Debbie Duncan and older brother Zach Slater credit, Tim Stewart. People don't understand the vastness of it. I'd love to be able to fly a drone and sit here all day scouring the whole area. Why would you go down there? Why leave the road? When we came on Monday we must have passed 200 cars going up those hills. Amateur sleuths have taken it upon themselves to crack the case, including thousands of armchairs detectives. Sat behind their computer and phone screens. They have been peddling vile theories and wild claims. Warren hit out at trolls and said, stop and put your boots on if you want to come out and help. Then write it up. Investigators yesterday told our channel J could be alive in another part of Tenerife. A police source on the island said the case is very much open with all scenarios being kept in mind. Cops also confirmed J has not been deemed missing feared dead yet. Speaking about the theory J is alive in a different part of Tenerife, Warren said, I hope it's true. But the devastated dad said it if were the case, Jay surely would have made contact by now. By Ellie Dowdy, foreign news reporter. Monday July 8th marked three weeks since Jay Slater, a 19-year-old from Oseltwistle, Lancashire, vanished in Tenerife. The apprentice bricklayer, who flew out to the popular holiday island for a rave festival with friends Lucy Law and Brad Page, has made headlines around the country. On Sunday, June 16th, the three of them headed off to one of the events at Papageo Nightclub. In the early hours of Monday 17, Lucy and Brad were ready to head back to their hotel, but Jay wanted to keep partying. It was then that he left the south of the island and headed to an Airbnb in the northwest with two British men. Our channel revealed the identity of one of them, convicted drug dealer Ayub Qasim, who spent nine years behind bars in the UK. For days it was thought that the second mystery man went by the name Johnny Vegas. On Sunday former detective Mark Williams Thomas, who is out in Tenerife investigating, said Kasim told him he is in fact the man behind the nickname Johnny Vegas. We don't yet know the identity of the second man, who remains a key part of the puzzle in Jay's mysterious disappearance. Kasim claims he drove Jay and the friend back to their accommodation and said they all went to sleep. In the morning he offered to drive the team back to the Los Cristianos resort after a nap. But Jay, hungry and tired, said he wanted to leave immediately. Lucy, the last person to speak to Jay, claims she had a panicked call from him soon after he left the holiday let, telling her he was lost and thirsty, his phone was about to die and that he'd been cut by a cactus. Jay had been seen by the owner of the Airbnb that morning wandering around near the rural Deteno Park, a mountainous region close by. He is believed to have been attempting the 11-hour trek back to his hotel despite the alleged offer of a lift and more buses scheduled for the day. It was there that his phone last pinged, and he hasn't been seen or heard from since. Mark Williams Thomas has claimed he left the Airbnb quickly, and was scared. Bizarrely, Kasim says he was woken up that morning by a phone call from an unnamed friend of Jay, saying he was, in a ditch, somewhere and had been, cut by a cactus. Jay's friend.